podcast on that pink podcast pink podcast yeah pink podcast on that pink podcast pink podcast yeah pink podcast on broadcast if you ready let's ride got the whole city plugged in with us set the city on fire from winston salem to the world we just repping our side pink podcast on broadcast if you ready let's ride back in it we back in it miss faith what's happening bobby bugatti was cracking it we really do it no accident Pushing community management, diversity, advocates, active in the city, tapping in, activated, had to add us in. Pink vibes, pink rims on the pink ride, riding clean, got my pinky out, let them see it, took the scenic route. Yeah, turn it up, tune in, we going live on the broadcast. Big things for the city, pull up, it's the pink podcast. Winston Salem, Winston Salem, what's going on? It's your boy Bugatti, the celebrity host. And we are in a disclosed location, and we are here at the North Carolina Democratic Barbecue. And we have some uh, familiar faces, some very important faces that you should remember when you're watching this podcast. And our first guest this evening is Mrs. Sabrina Goon Coon Godfrey. <laughs> yes. It's a mouthful, right? Yeah, it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. Not too much I can, can't handle. But uh, give the people of North Carolina a... a a little background of yourself, describe yourself. So, I am I'm running for Board of Education at large. So, I came from sales and marketing. I worked in sales and marketing for 10 years. I was with a radio group um, that actually, they own 97.1 QMG, 102 Jams, and a couple of other stations. Um, I left there, and after that, I started my advocacy for um, education, which has led me to run for Board of Education. So. And uh, for the people who, who may not be familiar with politics, what is the description of the position that you are in? So the Board of Education is um, the, there's a nine member board and we are charged with um, hiring and looking out over seeing the superintendent who is in charge of our schools. Um, we are in charge of um, being good stewards of our budget. Um, we are given, we are allocated funds. We are not able to raise our own funds, but we are allocated funds both locally, state, and federally, and we then um, disperse those funds. Um, and then we make policy. So we have policies that we have to oversee and work for our students and our schools. And with that being said, those funds that are allocated, those come from taxpayer dollars, is that correct? Um, they come from some and from taxpayer dollars, some come from grants, um, and some come from, um, uh, we have, with the pandemic, we have a lot of funds that have come in from um, pa pandemic type funds is the easiest way to describe them. Okay, and um, you know, Tell us, the people of North Carolina or the city of Winston-Salem, you know, being that some of our tax dollars are being used towards education, mm -hmm. uh, give us something that's our tax dollars is, is important as far as education that is used for. So our tax dollars are, we need to make sure that we have buildings that are up to date. I mean, that is something that's important to me. I'm in the schools. I volunteer within the schools. I have kids that are in the schools, so it's important to me. Um, my kids are not going to um, what some would consider the most um, highly funded schools. My kids are going to schools that don't have um, all the things, is the best way to put it. Um, and sometimes we look at our buildings and we go, hey, okay, what's going on? Like, why, why is our ACs not working all the time? Why do we not have heat? Why is this happening? Um, so there are plans in place with um, dollars that should be funneling to these schools to make sure that they're getting what they need. Um, but oftentimes there's um, the order that things are being done. You know, we need to look at that. But that is something that's super important. If a, if a bond comes up and it's, you know, you say, okay, you're gonna raise my taxes. Okay, yeah, but that money is going to help make sure that we get that money into these schools that really need their buildings worked on so that it's equitable. I got you. 
And as far as that goes, you know, it sounds like you have a nice plan in play for when you're elected. Um, what separates you from your opponent? I've been boots on the ground. Like, I've actually been in the schools. I've been working with educators and staff and students. I've been listening. I've been doing this for a decade. Um, and not just in my kids' schools. I've been trained as a reading warrior um, because access to books and access to the ability to read is gives you the keys to your future. Um, so we have an initiative 90 by 25 in the district. And I believe that we've got to actually get in there and work and do it. Um, we have candidates that, um, on the other side, I don't think that have set foot in a school in ever. Um, and that's a problem. If you've not been in the schools and you don't see what's going on, if you don't know the difference between a well-funded school that has a $60,000 PTA backing them versus a uh, project or an Inspire 360 school who doesn't have a PTA, there's a problem. And I'm in the schools that need folks. That's where I've been, that's where my heart has been, that's where I've been advocating for the last decade. So. Okay, so if uh, people uh, want to sell on North Carolina, want to donate to your political campaign, how can they reach out to you? My website has all of my information for that. It is www.sabrina, the number four, B-O-E, dot com. It's really easy, S-A-B-R-I-N-A, four, B-O-E, Com. All right, and I know we was talking off a record. You on mommy duty, so you gotta get home to, yes. to the children. Yes. Before you get out of here, are you having a good a good time this evening? Yeah, it's been so fun. I love being with people. I love I love meeting people, and I met some great people tonight. Tonight's been awesome. Um, you've been great, so thank you so much. Thank you. I will thank you for uh, joining us. Yeah. So after you win that campaign, we're gonna have to do a part two of yes. in the studio Absolutely. and talk about what we have coming up. You know what you got going on. Sounds good. All right. I love it. All right. So the you. next episode, we out.